The package includes the backpack reservoir assembly, shoulder straps, fuel pump fitting, copper flare seals, hose adapter kit, and user manual. To get started, attach the shoulder straps to the reservoir like shown. Use a 13mm wrench to remove the screws holding the original fuel tank. If your pulse fire has a 37 degree flare fitting pre-installed, use a 16mm wrench to hold the fuel pump fitting while using an adjustable wrench to loosen the hose assembly and remove it from the fitting. Otherwise, loosen the clamp securing the hose to the fuel pump fitting and pull the hose off. Use a 16mm wrench to unscrew and remove the hose barb fitting from the fuel pump. Remove the copper washer from the fitting and place it onto the included 37 degree flare fitting. When installing the new fitting into the pump, it's important to keep the copper washer as centered as possible. There isn't a lot of material on the sealing surface of the pump, so if the washer is off center, it may not seal. If everything looks good, snug it up and use a 16mm wrench to tighten the fitting to 80 inch pounds. The included hose adapter fitting can be inserted into your original rubber hose to transform it into a flare capable setup. Use a plastic pen or wooden dowel to aid installation. Gently put one of the included soft copper flares on the fitting and ensure it is centered. Take the 45 degree hose end and thread it onto the fitting as straight as possible. If it's not going on smoothly, it's not aligned properly. Firmly hold the male fitting that's installed in the fuel pump and tighten the hose end onto it using about 20 foot pounds, which is three times as much torque as used to install the fitting into the fuel pump. It's very important to hold the fitting during installation and removal so you don't end up applying that high torque to the pump threads too. Likewise, place a copper seal onto the backpack fitting. Install the hose end as straight as possible. It should thread on very easily the entire way until reaching the end. If there's resistance right off the bat, remove and try again. Tighten this one a little bit less, about 15 foot pounds since we're threading onto aluminum. As long as the hose can no longer wiggle or spin, it should be secure. Fill with fuel, check for leaks, and you're ready to go. After use, keep the fuel tank three quarters full or less to allow for expansion. Always empty the fuel tank before transporting to ensure maximum safety.